So I'm going to glue up the bottom stretcher assembly now. There's one separate union unit, then I'll glue it to the legs, then I'll glue the legs to the rails. And this is my setup. I've got this um, cross member fastened down here, and that allows me to keep that dead still and adjust squareness by going like this once it's clamped. And yeah, this end I'm going to do, you know, by. <coughs> Manipulating the position of the clamp to get it square. So now I'm going to start prepping my aprons that go around there. Now I've shaped my legs and I've made that cut out for the leg to apron joints there. So the aprons on this particular design are a um, standalone frame, which is basically like a mitre box. Here is a, a cutaway view from the top. And there's the aprons, and they join into each other with a mitre joint, and then those legs encapsulate them from the outside. So I'm going to cut these to length now and cut the mitres in them. And I'm going to reinforce these miters with a couple of dowels using a new 45 degree accessory that Dalmax have sent me. The apron frame is laid out, all the mitres are cut, it's all been cut to length and it's nice and square. And I'm going to start marking the location of these joints before I drill the dowels in them. Now I've been very careful to select which faces I want where. So this is going to be the front that faces the congregation. And I've got that big knot feature there which I want facing the front. Um, this piece here has got a surface check right across there where it's delaminating the grain. And I can't sand that out, can't plane that out, can't anything. So I'm facing it down in towards the, basically the stage. The congregation are there. It's on the side in the back and it'll be mostly unseen. This rear board has got sap wood running along the top. Just along there. So I am positioning it towards the back and with the sap wood up closest to the top. And what that'll do is it'll basically be invisible. It won't be seen because of the overhang. And then lastly, I've got this board here, which has got a through split right here. Which has got a split that goes through to the front. I'm positioning it so that one of these legs will cover that split, not only for aesthetic reasons, but also structurally, we want the strength in there. So it'll keep it from separating. It'll, the glue on that face will hold it together and it'll also hide it. So I've um, tested this with a offcut first. So here's my test piece. I've just taken a slice off the back of it to see how far I am from the edge. 
I've got about three or four millimeters before I break out, so that's fine. this goes to the bottom. Bye. <laughs> 